Hey everybody, Superfluous J here, playing more Kerbal Space Program, and the Kerbo National Space Station has just come into daylight, which means it is time to try, and good, it's there, uh, it is time to try, if we had comms, which we don't, uh, to dock this guy to him. So let's head back to the space station. Um, Bill has done basically everything, so Bob's feeling a little left out, so he's going to hop out here. Oh, he can't. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, Bill, you guys got to trade places. Let's go ahead and transfer Bill to here. And then uh, transfer Bob to here. And then Bob is going to then go EVA. Which he can't do because he doesn't have an EVA pack. Um, he has a parachute. Uh, so Bob is going to transfer to here, and then we're going to uh, take this out and put it on you instead of that. And that's totally a thing that is possible now Oh, in the game. Uh, he still has his parachute. And they said they fixed a uh, document, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to take this off of Bill, put this in the inventory. Okay, let's lock this. Let's lock you. We're going to take this off and put it on you. We're going to take this off and put it in the thing. There we go. I have no idea what I did before, but that wasn't it. Okay, so now you have RCS. So where is this other vessel? It is there. KSS2, get over to it. I mean, obviously, it was something we didn't have to do before because their their jetpacks were just included in them. But uh, I just realized that maybe we should have had Bob come out here and do this because I think the uh, the port might be disabled, <laughs> or not the port. That's the wrong way to say it. Oh, the door might be blocked, but it actually, doesn't look like it is. Assuming this is the door. This is the door and get in. Okay, now it doesn't matter whether or not we have comms. We can aim at our target, which is that looks like the anti target. I hope I'm right. I am. Okay. So let's get. Uh, There we go. Now we're going to aim anti-target and sidle up here and get these guys docked to each other. Something I'm excited about. This is our first building our space station. And then uh, Bob's going to head out and whoa, and I'm going to go right by it because, you know, that's something you do in this game sometimes. Let's just say we did that on purpose. <laughs> Uh, and actually, I mean, the docking port is right there. So there is that. So we're going to control from here. And I, I don't even know if that's a docking port. No, it's not, because the docking port's not there. The docking port's somewhere on the side. We're going to sidle up next to this guy. And yeah, there's the docking port. So we want to set that as our target. And there we go. Okay, so now the space station can roll. We control from here and set that as our target. Uh, we should be able to do this. Whoa. That should be good enough for a docking. Now if you go into locked mode, so I know which way I'm going here. We should have, yes, we have our little indicator. This is a mod that tells me where things are aimed. So you can now, I know that you need to do this to aim at your target. And then when I go back here, everything's good. 
Okay, we don't want to speed up very much more than that. So that ideally will do it. Good enough, I think. Good enough, I think. And uh, I've changed my mind. It's not good enough. But now it is. Turn off uh, the computer and boom, we have gotten docked. We have officially started constructing the Kerbo National Space Station, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay, uh, nobody's in here. That means Bob is over here. Bill is over here. I always get them wrong. Uh, go ahead and hop out, Bill. Let's go ahead and try some construction. What are we going to do? Um, first of all, we want these solar panels on the actual space station itself. So uh, let's hit I. And we can we can reach really far. You can reach a lot farther than uh, you, you, I thought you would be able to, which is fantastic. Um, let's go ahead and put this solar panel here. Take this solar panel and put it on the other side here. Take this solar panel and put it down here. And this last solar panel and put it over here. Okay, then we, um, this thing should only need one, uh, what do you call it, uh, parachute. But go ahead and take this off and we're going to put this right here. And what I wonder is, can you take this off? No. Uh, cannot do to part attachments. Can you not detach any part? You can't detach this for some reason. You can't detach this. So what can you do? Can you detach this? No. You could attach that and put it back on. But you can't detach this, and it doesn't even say why. It just says you can't do it. It's weird that it said you couldn't do this one because of part attachments. But it doesn't say why you can't do this one. So, I don't know. Not going to worry about it. Um But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I think we're I think we're good. We've got the we got the solar panels where they want to be. We can return someone if we wanted to. Oh, we wanted to take off one of these parachutes and put it uh it doesn't really matter where we put it, but we're going to put it here. Um, the thing is, I, I do eventually want to move this talking port because it's slightly askew. I was I was in a hurry when I put it on the first time, so <laughs> it's not exactly where I want it. But um, that's about it. Uh, uh, if we had fuel transfer, I could uh, I could transfer fuel from these things into this because this is this is really something I don't actually want. I didn't even really expect to have that uh, on the space station. But now we got two things to return, so we have two people who can be returned at any time. Um, and now we're ready to uh, start doing other missions. So uh, hop back in the space station here and let's uh, head back to the space center and see what kind of contracts we can accept to, uh, to further our space program now that we now that we're we're a budding interplanetary species here. Uh, as always, we like it to be daytime. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, on the active contracts, uh, we want to conduct temperature surveys at Minmus. We want to conduct temperature surveys at Minmus. And we want to conduct temperature surveys at Minmus. So I think that's probably our first order of the day is maybe, I, I don't know, we could conduct, I suppose, temperature surveys at Minmus. So that seems like a reasonable thing. Uh, we also want to put a satellite in an equatorial orbit of Minmus, which is just a good idea. So we're going to do that. Robotic science retrieval, bring green sandstone back with you. Um, I don't know why it would have to be robotic. I don't understand why it says robotic, because it says have a Kerbal pick it up and return it to Kerbin. Um, this isn't a bad idea. It's worth a lot of money. 
Um, the, the big thing about it is they're a huge pain in the butt to find. And I'm trying not to use the debug menu to, to find them, but it's ridiculous how hard they are to find otherwise. Um, got some testing. Uh, test the skiff. A haul a skiff into a suborbital trajectory over Minmus. Test the cheetah. I need that none of those sound like something I really want to do. Um, what do we got here? Uh, we, could, we could do more temperature experiments on Minmus. I think this is a gimme. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna try to do a lot of these things. Help a scientist perform. Oh, this is gonna actually give us a a scientist, Gilney Kerman, who has to get taken to Minmus. That seems a little excessive. Um, geological study of Minmus, uh, seismic scan all over the place. And we're actually at our maximum experiments anyway. So we're going to send a big mission to Minmus. That's what we're doing today. And uh, we have to do it in 46 parts. So we might be doing we might be doing multiple launches, but that's why we have a space station in orbit around Kerbin. Um, so what we're going to do is we're probably going to launch a couple vessels up to Minmus and we're going to do a, do some orbital construction. I think that'll be fun. We'll, we'll, we'll give this a try. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. I have no idea what I'm doing. But let's give it a shot here. Um, let's uh, look at our options here. Sorry about that stealth edit. Okay, so where we're where we're gonna start on most of our missions here is a uh, robotic core that has reaction wheels. Uh, oddly enough, his reaction wheels are better than his. Which is weird. Oh, I see. He has he has less mass, but he costs more. Okay, well, money isn't really an object as much as mass, so we'll do that. Uh, then we will slap a clampatron on him, like a lot of these probes are going to have. A couple solar panels. Uh, I always do it the wrong way. There we go. A couple solar panels. That looks fine. And um, then I think we're going to go with the P because that'll hold two people. We don't really need two people, though. We just need a scientist. We're not going to be doing any engineering once we get to Minmus. So all we need is a scientist, and he doesn't need a parachute. He will probably need a jetpack, so we're gonna we're gonna keep his jetpack, and it's not gonna be Jebediah though. It's going to be nobody. Uh, I think we're gonna hire our first person, and this is this is one thing I'm gonna do. Uh, we're gonna hit Alt F12. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna be hiring people. I'm gonna be creating people. Let's create a Kerbal, and the first Kerbal. To join our space program is Agata Kerman, a female scientist uh, who is level zero. We're definitely not going to do that. Courage and stupidity, that looks fine. She's not going to be a veteran or a badass. We are going to create her. Then we are going to uh, go to the astronaut complex, and there she is. And she exists. Um, what do we want? I think... Uh, Let's go all sci-fi with her, and we're going to make her kind of, oh, there's like, wow, variants. Let's do it with that variant, and I think we're going to make her yellow. Welcome to the to the space program, Agata Kerman. Uh, and then I guess we'll just back up. Okay, so Jeb's out, Agata's in, and she doesn't need parachute like I said that'll save us a little bit of mass so she's gonna ride this thing up do all the things at Minmus and then and then come back at least to the space station if not all the way back to Kerbin so with that in mind we are going to need uh, we are gonna need a pretty big fuel tank which means probably this one maybe even two of them 
And uh, she might even take that other fuel tank from that other thing with her just to use up the fuel in it. Um, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and try and set this to minimus. So, so we kind of know our TWRs. Um, also, I want to bring up some baguettes and stuff eventually, but probably not right now. Uh, let's go with engines. Probably get away with the pug, to be honest. That's a lot of stuff, and she's got ridiculous TWR, so yeah. I don't even think we need the pug. Let's do the spark. Yeah, it's still ridiculous TWR. Um, so that will get us to Minimus and fly around a lot and come back. So I think we're fine with that, especially if we bring the other fuel. Um, oh wait, she needs all of the, the science doodads. Because we don't want to... Actually, I say that, but is there a reason to keep those science things on the space station? Uh, let's see here. Don't save this yet. I just want to see what we have. We don't have anything named Minmus. So let's call this Minmus 1. Really boring naming sequence. What are you going to do? Uh, then we're going to save this, and then we're going to open the Kerbin National Space Station, because I want to see what that what that science package that I have on here looks like. Because um, what I want to do here is I would like to I would like to take all this stuff off and put it on the Minmus ship. But that's a little difficult when it comes to the Science Junior. Because of the fact that we can't do that construction thing. I thought we'd be able to take big chunks and move them, but we can't. So um, I think what we need to do is we need to come up with the Science Junior, and then we can just slap all these other ones on from there. Because they're, they're useless in, uh, in Kerbal Orbit. And apparently there's two of each. I might have screwed that up. But oh well. Uh, so let's go ahead and reopen the Minmus 1. And now we know that we want this on it. And we're also probably going to want some reaction wheels. Uh, probably good ones. Let's buy this. Let's pay for this nice one here. And we'll go with that. And uh, I'm going to pause and come back someday in the future for me. <laughs> but in just a few minutes for you. Okay, I'm back. And I... It's only been a day, so I basically remember what I was doing. <laughs> um, what I was doing was making the Minmus 1 here, and uh, I, I want to make sure that I that I get a couple things done. First of all, all the science I'm going to just take off the inner, inner Kerbal uh, National Space Station, whatever it's called, <laughs> Kerbal National Space Station. And uh, so all these temperature scan things here are just going to work. Um, the Terrier, I think I am going to actually test it at the launch site now, because um, I think we actually have it. Um, I think we can. I think we can pick one up. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a, a thing that's available to us. So we'll definitely test it on the launch site. Um, although we're running a spark here, so maybe we won't, I'm not sure yet. Um, so we can ditch that, uh, temperature, temperature, obviously we're going to be doing a bunch of temperature scans and a biome study. Um, ideally that's what we're going to do with this sh ship in its entirety is we're going to do all of that. And then we're going to bring that all back to the Kerbin National Space Station. And then we're going to return it to Kerbin with a returner. So what do we want to do now? We want, um, we want a, a science returner. Now I didn't really like this very much, uh, because of reasons. Um, most notably it, uh, it almost burned up in the atmosphere. Now we should be able to, to put the periapsis at 40 and have it consistently not burn up in the atmosphere. However, we could also probably make it a little bit better. Um, one way to make it a little bit better is to take that off. Let's commit to a slightly better probe core. Uh, the, let's go by mass. Um, these guys actually both have 0 0.1 mass. So we're going to we're going to put one of these on the top. Actually, honestly, I think this is better. <laughs> I really think this is better. And then uh, what I'm going to do here is the reason this was this was top heavy. If we uh, if, if we set this to be the center of mass, the reason this guy's top heavy was the monoprop pulls pulls the center of mass up past this midpoint here. Um, if we put the monoprop on the bottom, then the center of mass will be down here. If we leave the monoprop off, I'm pretty sure the center of mass will be down here. So I'm going to try to take this off. I'm going to put this here. Let's go ahead and do this so it snaps to the center of the ship. 
And then what I don't know is can I, I can, ha ha ha, put this here. Now this is going to be a little squirrely. Uh, I, I might be able to do this. Center it and then hit three to center this. And I'm pretty sure that's centered. Let's check our RCS build aid. Uh, and we'll go with translation. Uh, we'll go forward. And that is that is some uh, that is some translation there. Let's go ahead and try to uh, hit C to turn this off. I'm gonna put my mouse way over here so I have better control. Is what I'm doing here. And that wasn't the problem. The problem is actually this way. So let's do this. I'm gonna click here and drag this out. Now we can we should be able to. Get a pretty good. Yeah, wow, that is that is some crazy stuff. Uh, one thing I might be able to do here, slightly cheating, but I'm going to put it here, and then I'm going to translate it out. I'm going to hit C, translate it out, and I'm going to oops, not space. I'm going to hold down Shift, which allows you to translate it further, and then translate it there. It's still off center, which is crazy. It's sh it's aiming down this way. Uh, okay, let's throw it away and get a new one because I think I think I I messed up where it was. Okay, now it's aimed down perfectly. So now if we bring it down here with shift and then bring it in to there, there now we have perfectness. Uh, let's also uh, justify. Bringing this up a little bit, uh, that's probably too much. It can probably sink into the thing a little bit. And then if I can click on it, there we go. Bring. Oh, because I didn't have shift held. This can probably come in a little bit like this. Let's uh, turn off RCS building so we get a little bit better view of what it looks like here. I think that's perfectly viable. All right, I had time to uh, work on this while well, I didn't have time to record, so I have uh, worked on it without recording. And uh, this is what I got so far. Um, it, it uses all the parts, and I don't want you to see the launcher yet because I'm, I'm kind of proud and ashamed of it, but I'm just noticing that I didn't put a battery on this guy, which is really annoying. Um, I think I put, some, put uh, two radial batteries on the ISS, uh, KSS, <laughs> uh, but I did not uh, did not include them here, and I'm at 46 parts, so I'm going to leave this as it is. I don't even know if this is going to launch or not. Uh, basically, this is the returner. This is the uh, the lander. Uh, it's going to get science slapped on it. Um, it also doesn't have an antenna, but we'll we'll put that up. We'll put that on there when we get on the ISS. And uh, this is this is the top launch station. It says it only has 211 meters per second, but that's uh, alt uh, altitude v delta v 800 because this is the terrier which we're going to test at the launch pad uh, so i'm going to slap this back on there so you can see it and i need to uh fix the staging a little bit there's the staging now this is the biggest fuel tank i have available to me so i made this kind of crazy zigzag pattern and then we got the old standard uh wolfhound at the bottom we got a couple uh solids just to help us off the pad they are thrust limited down to 75 percent so that um and a stealth edit. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about, but oh yeah, the uh, these guys are thrust limited down to 75 just to just to, so they last a little bit longer to help this guy because his uh, his delta V is pretty low in the atmosphere. It says it's 110 here, but if we uh, if we go to altitude and say let's say we're going to drop these at about uh, say eight kilometers, he's at 1.09. So that's uh, that's kind of scary. But anyway, that's, that's the maximum we have. If we do need to supply this thing with anything, uh, once we get there, we're going to have to launch up a second mission because we're at 46 parts. So we're going to save this guy and launch him. And the first thing we need to do here is uh, test that terrier, which I should have probably uh, done. Let's see, what is this? This is the... Wow, things just love to get stuck in the exact wrong spot. This is the Terrier. Uh, there should be run test. Yes, let's run the test. 
and then immediately deactivate the engine <laughs> because we do not want it running. So let's go ahead and hit T. Um, Agata Kerma, who are you? Oh, that's right. I, yes, you you are the one going to Minmus. Um, I don't remember why I added you to the to the space program uh, in particular, but uh, I do want you to be the one to go to Kerman to go to Minmus. So you are our first hire. Let's go ahead and hit space bar. And we have no lift right now. So basically, the game lied to me. Our TWR is not 1.1, it is 0 0.9. So, let's revert the flight, which is annoying because that means I'm going to need to, uh, I'm going to need to test that Terrier again. Um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, get rid of two of these. This is going to suck because I'm not 100% sure this is going to work. Um, Add another one of these. And then on the bottom of this guy, can we put this guy radial? That's the question. We can. We'll put two of these on the bottom and we'll put them this way. And those are ugly, so we'll just leave it like this. Uh, and we'll move them as close to each other as uh, good taste will allow and it's probably about that close okay that means that these can be moved down to here and these can be moved down to here Okay, these are still all in the same stage. Hopefully it's not going to lie to me this time. 1.58 and 2.24. We don't have to worry about uh, <laughs> our... That anymore. Did we did we gain a part? Or, or now we're still at 46 parts. So, um... Actually, that is much better than it was. We're still not going to get into space with that, but we're going to be closer. But that's fine. That's fine. Uh, the more fuel we have, the merrier up, up on the space station. So uh, let's go ahead and save it and uh, launch it again. Okay. We know the drill. X to, to uh, or sorry, is it X? There we go. X to kill our thrust. Make sure we're dealing with the terrier. Run the test. Shut down the engine. <laughs> Hit T, hit Z again, and hit the space bar. There we go. There's what too much thrust does for you. Uh, let's go ahead and just start our turn right now, because it's gonna be a it's gonna be a whoa, fairly wobbly ride. I uh, did not do auto struts except for on the uh, solids, so there's that. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Very white spaceship, very uh, blandly colored. Didn't feel like being clever with it, so what are you gonna do? But uh, there go the solids, goodbye. Still got a decent thrust to wait, so I'm happy. Uh, time to orbit is not, uh, not very good yet still 37. I'd like it to be closer to a minute. Really, really 50 seconds is kind of the sweet spot I have found. Uh, we definitely need to uh, aim south, or sorry, north just a little bit. Oh, by the way, the uh, I, I installed another mod. I've, I've installed a couple mods. Um, I haven't tried them all yet, but I'm trying one of them right now, and that mod is the... Um, uh, I don't remember the name of it. It's uh, it changes the sounds <laughs> of the of the the rockets. Um, there's actually all these configs that you can make your own sounds and things like that. I don't care about that. I just want the sounds to be a little bit quieter on the smaller rockets, and it should be now. Uh, we'll find that out when the time comes. 
uh, if that's actually true or not. Uh, let's see, we are at 80. I am going to coast here because I want my apoapsis to be 80. So I'm going to coast up to that. Should check the, uh, make sure we're not running crazily out of electric charge. Because we don't have any solar panels on this thing either. Oh, we do, we do have two solar panels. Never mind. I forgot about that. But we can get out of the atmosphere and then ditch the fairings. So now we have solar panels in the sun. And then at 80, let's set the space, uh, space station as our target. And then at our apoapsis, we are going to... Oh, another, another thing, I, I ditched the stock, uh, stock, <laughs> the default configs for uh, environmental visual enhancements, and I've installed astronomers uh, pack for them. Uh, don't know if they're better or worse. The, the clouds definitely look better, so I'm going to be happy with that. Uh, we need a little bit more thrust here just to get this up to, it can actually probably stay at 70. Just a little bit above 70. And we want to actually do this now. So go. And I don't think we're going to have the, the meters per second to do this. Uh, come on. It didn't go because I had already activated the engine. Um... Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we'll have the we'll have the, the meters per second to do this. The whole point of this this stage is so that we don't waste the fuel here because I don't have fuel transfer yet. I want to keep the fuel in this guy as long as possible. Ideally, before the end of this mission, we're gonna unlock uh, fuel transfer. That's my next goal. Um, mostly because I'm I'm planning to take extra fuel tanks up with this guy, and uh, that don't, won't work if he doesn't have. Um, if he doesn't have any way to uh, any way to utilize his fuel tanks, uh, I think I'm just gonna burn a little bit up from uh, is it up or down? If I burn down, now I think I, I want to be burning up. Yeah, because that brings my apoapsis back towards me. As soon as my periapsis is 70, that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna quit burning here. Maybe it is down. I think I think it doesn't really matter because I'm so far away. Um, yeah, I just sadly I have to keep burning here. There we go. We're we're at 70. But now our apoapsis is too high. So at this periapsis, I hate to do it. Oh, we don't have the ability to make maneuver nodes, which is always annoying. Uh, we have 160 meters per second, which is almost infinite when it comes to uh, when it comes to the amount of fuel you have in, uh, or when it comes to maneuvers in orbit, uh, getting from one orbit to another. As long as you're a coplanar, really not a big deal. Uh, but I'm going to burn my apoapsis back down to. Uh, At least 80. There we go. Yeah, did you hear that thump noise and, and, and the fact that it's so quiet? That's that's the mod that I uh, that I've installed. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, we've got this in orbit. We're gonna go to the space station. Um, it might be a little tricky because I think we need to dismantle this thing and put it back together, which uh, I'm not really sure is possible. Um, because he doesn't have a docking port on him. That's that's a that's a flaw on this guy. I might be able to take a docking port off when we get up there and slap it on the top of him to connect into the thing. Um, if not, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with him. We might just leave him in orbit and deal with the fact that, that he's a dead craft. Um, kind of sucks because we brought him up here but <laughs> what are you gonna do um but uh then next time we're gonna be we're gonna dock this to the space station do a little bit of rework with it and um send him off to minmus with uh agata agata kerman kerman which is a problem i need to fix that <laughs> i hope you enjoyed watching this if you did uh please like uh this on youtube it, it definitely helps uh i definitely enjoyed playing it i'm superfluous j and i will as always talk at you later